In today's video, I'm showing you how to make a gelatin-free chocolate mousse and raspberry gelée dessert using a plant-based alternative called agar agar. I partnered with a company that I've collaborated with before called Living Gin. They're a small Korean health food startup whose agar I use frequently both on and off camera. It's really high quality and I've been using it for several months now and have always gotten great results. So when I had the idea to make today's video, I actually reached out to them as I was going to be using their agar anyways. I've placed the link in the description box below for where you can purchase the same agar that I use for 10% off using the code 10 Chef Studio. For the raspberry gelée, you'll need 300 grams of raspberries, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and 2 grams of agar powder. Place this all in a pot over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Bring the gelée up to a boil for 1-2 to two minutes. This is a super important step when cooking with agar agar. You need to make sure it's been properly boiled for at least a minute or two to get the best gelling results. Transfer the gelée to a sheet pan or a rectangular cake tin and cool in the fridge until set. Once set, use a small circular cutter to cut out rounds of gelée. Place the rounds onto a parchment lined baking sheet and return to the fridge. For the chocolate mousse, chop up 200 grams of dark chocolate and set aside in a heat proof bowl. Measure 500 grams of coconut cream and 2 grams of agar into a pot and set over medium heat. Boil for one to two minutes. Pour over the chopped chocolate and stir thoroughly to combine. Set this aside until it is cooled to room temperature. In a stand mixer, whip the chocolate for five minutes to give it a lighter, fluffier texture. Then set the whipped chocolate aside. Pour 100 milliliters of aquafaba, the liquid from a can of chickpeas, into the bowl of a stand mixer and whip on high until the aquafaba meringue forms soft peaks. Continue to whisk and add in 4 tablespoons of sugar. Then. Fold the meringue into the whipped chocolate mixture. In heart-shaped silicone molds, I'll link to where you can purchase these down below. Pipe the chocolate mousse into the molds only a third of the way up each heart. Place a disc of the raspberry gelée on top, then cover the raspberry gelée with another layer of mousse. Follow this with another disc of gelée, then finish up with a last layer of mousse to top off each mold. Freeze overnight until totally solid. Once the chocolate mousse hearts are completely frozen, melt a mixture of 3 quarters dark chocolate and a quarter cocoa butter in the microwave. The cocoa butter will thin out the chocolate and give the mousse hearts a crunchy, thin, and easy to eat shell. Melt a small amount of white chocolate and use a fork to drizzle onto each heart.
and finish with a dusting of edible gold if you're feeling fancy. Special thanks again to Living Gin for sponsoring this video. If you want to try making your desserts using a plant-based alternative to gelatin, then you should definitely check out their agar powder. I've linked to a bunch of recipes on the channel where I've used their agar in the past, uh, and you can check those out. Uh, and again, the link and discount code is in the description box below if you want to get the same agar that I use. If you liked this video, consider subscribing, and feel free to get in touch with me on Instagram at chefstudio underscore.